just driving in here for a couple of days camping and just let just drove on to a big old mongrel buck hey and he could not give a shit about me he just got up here to be scrape here and just walked up the hill he's standing there and he's scraping again about 80 meters up here so and let him just trot over the ridge or if he is going to go over the ridge and I'll chuck a shirt on and go up so we're going to stir him up he's a big old heavy just mongrel looking thing hey Nothing cute about him at all. Got the hunting kit on. Footy shorts and bare feet in the tiger pan. Bit of barefoot action there. You're a good tiger pan. That buck's only just in here somewhere. If he's still there, I'm going to get that out of my foot. That might ruin it. Turns out that stag, he was in there. There's me here in the park right there. He was just standing there. We should have took a bit notice of where he was before we left, but anyway. It was only about 60 yards, I think, probably. Yeah, but I just spotted his feet and stopped, and he was already looking at me, so. Anyway, here for two, maybe three nights, depending on how we go. Pretty crammed in here now, there's a fair crew. These other blokes here tripsing around, so put this back in here, sanctioned off for me apparently. So if they stay there, so I know I stay mine, should be alright. Anyway, here's what it is. We'll definitely spend two nights and work a bit of country here. I can go next door, I might go over there. Chopper shoot happening there at the back of that place, starting Wednesday, so. I don't know how much it'll affect where I am, but I don't reckon it's going to do it in the world of good. Anyway, we'll see what we can rustle up over the next couple of days, eh? Right, uh, well, just got camp set up. The next three nights, I'd reckon. Um, definitely nothing's flash. Flash as I've ever gone, though. Got chair, tent. Let me fold our bed, doesn't fit in. Apparently, that's a four, pup, four man tent, I reckon. No, I don't think I'd like four men squeezed in there. Anyway, each to their own. Maybe four men would like to squeeze, squeeze in there, eh? Yeah, no, she's um, very quiet. I was hoping I might have had a few grunt here by now, but not a peep so far. So. Anyway, got a bit of a fire. Whether that'll happen, everything's still soaking wet. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping Zach might have got a bit of time off, but. Unfortunately that didn't happen. My other mate, you know, see there's a point way out there. Other mates camped up there for a couple of days. So anyway, we'll see how we get on. We might be able to I'm sure over the next three or four days something cool will happen. Hopefully. Every time I camp I don't seem to do that well, to be honest. I seem to have all my luck on them random trips. We can only try, eh? I reckon I'll find something here somewhere. Right, I just made my way up the top. There's a couple of scrapes up here. A couple of well used ones, scrapes or any. I've seen a pretty good buck on one here the other half. Anyway, I just come in. I knew exactly where a scrape was. I still walked too far. And he was on it. Just bumped him off it like he knew I was sus and trotted off, obviously. But while there's nothing else happening, I'm going to suck her in the back of it there. And yeah, I'll sit there for an hour or so. If this wind's going to let me in. Yeah, a bit like he might come back there, I reckon.
Where's your dad at, Rod? Well, I just had a little bit of a rattle there coming down. Doe started barking, so I only hit the antlers like once or twice. Yeah, brought a little spike in. That's pretty cool. You can't ride her in me. No, I'll give her a doe call there to stop it. end up coming up, so. Still standing there, look. He's already got brow tines, eh? That's a pretty good sign he might grow into something, maybe. Maybe. Mm. So. Pretty quiet old gullies over in here, like. Takes a fair bit of effort to get your ass in here. The big follower I shot the other day, he's sort of way up in here, but down over, sort of in the next gully there, so. Yeah, she's very quiet, so but not much happening, but anyway. I think the morning should kick something off. You never know, still got a couple of hours till dark here, five o'clock, four o'clock. Me watching, Jane. Still two hours till dark. He's gonna come. I don't know how big he is. I don't even know if he's a shooter. I don't think he's a shooter. Yeah. Couple more years older, bud. Couple more years older. Well, he can. He's not a bad looking buck, actually, for a young buck. If you grow into something if he gets the time to grow. Hopefully.
Well, second morning, oh, first morning camping anyway. Bucks grunting, very sporadic though, nothing. Nothing very consistent. The one I was gonna hunt is over in here. Pretty ordinary wind, so. Thought I might back out and he was making no noise and one day and he started. He started, he's not doing much. They should be cranking more now. I want of April. And still, well, I can say they're grunting, but barely. Right, uh, pretty steady morning, eh? I pushed way up away here, just in the shit. Um, I spooked a few does, spooked a young buck, sort of just coming down on where I shot that big half white follow there the other day. The buck's back there where I've been. The one I was going to go after, they seem to be the only ones really. Gunshots ringing out out there. <coughs> they seem to be the only ones really having a crack. I got one way down over in here. And two or three out up this way. So. I'm going to make my way back to them, I think. Don't want to drop all my altitude down here. And find out there's nothing down there. The guns are blaring. Hopefully they've hit it by now. Smoked him. Smoked him. Damn. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I could run over here. Oh. Well, there's me back. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, don't get much better than that. Alright. Uh, well, <laughs> that was, this is the buck I planned on hunting this morning actually, he's the one I walked, walked straight in on him there yesterday, Arvo. Um, yeah, it just made me wait. This morning I hunted way up high, there wasn't much happening eh, she's pretty quiet, there was one going down here, he was going pretty consistently and it was just enough to go, this follower here would let one out every now and then, but yeah, I knew, I was pretty sure he'd be back on that scrape, so. So yesterday I nutted her out and. Planned a bit of a track and come up through here and there. Yeah, sure enough, he was laying on it, facing away. Laying down, facing away, quarter away, so. <laughs> Couldn't have got much better. And, yeah, I slipped it. So I slipped the arrow straight up. Straight up in there. Come out sort of the front of his chest there. Yeah, and he went down pretty much straight away. And then he <laughs> jumped up. So, come tearing past me, only, I nearly could have grabbed him. Yeah, then went down and he, that was just there. Sort of kicked out from under the log and rolled down here, but he's um he definitely needed shooting. He's real weak one side. I thought he was on a bad buck. I've never really got that good of a look at him. But that palm there is unreal. This one here. It's big let down unfortunately. We are seeing more and more of. But yeah. Big old follow, plenty of age to him there, I think. Okay. I can say I'm no fellow guru, but he's definitely plenty heavy enough, so. Fair bit of AIDS there. I'll get him down here a second. So old mate's grunting down here. I'll get him down here so you can have a better look at him, mate. Well, here's that fellow buck you just seen me shoot. Um, yeah, definitely a lot weaker on this side here. Really, oh, pretty handy 
palm this side. A big yard to one, honey. Plenty of age to run into, plenty of mass. Um, yeah, pretty cool stalk in there. He's in the walls, he's got a hole in his back here. It's fresh. Another one up in his guts there with a bit of his, looks like his guts coming out of him actually. He obviously played a pretty big game there last night, I'd say. Yeah, couldn't be happier. Um, 100 yesterday, I like this. It's the 9th of April. I should be bloody going ballistic by now, but she's only. Well, this fella's pretty rutted up, man. He stinks bad, so. I don't know whether a lot of it might be happening at night. I don't know. I woke up at midnight and camped in the bottom of the hill, and there's a couple having a proper bang at it, but um, yeah, sort of one's daylight it. There's, so there's this one that sort of led me here, and then this fella having a bit of a crack every now and then, but nothing. Spectacular, eh? So, anyway, cool stalk. Should be a pretty cool video. Um, yeah, hopefully, I'll go and hunt let the manager of this box and take me down and show me another block here, the Sarvos. Never been over there, I don't know what deer numbers there, I don't know whether there be heaps, but it's never really been harassed much, so could be just holding that one big old bastard in there somewhere, you know. Good stuff, get this follower out, I'm not that far from camp, probably about 3 k's. Good big old buck. <laughs>